Hello and welcome to Woodland Sticks video again. This will be number eight. Today I thought I'd talk to you a bit about the different types of sticks we make here in the UK. Uh, I think in other countries you don't seem to make the type of sticks that we do. So I thought I'd show you the stuff that we use and what we actually call it. So it might give you a hand in your stick making to look things up. So the first one we'll start off with is just like a hike and stuff. Basically all it is, is just a straight stick rounded the top over and that's how you carry it. It helps you to push along and it helps to guide you when you're going downhill. So you can do that in all sorts of sticks. It doesn't have to be a heavy one like this one, but that's a nice twisted one, something like that. The other one, you can put a piece of antler or anything on the top uh, and, and use that. That just gives you a little handle and, and smarten it up a bit. It all depend on, you know, the sort of thing you want out of your stick. So that gives you an idea of uh, the hiking stick. So the next one we come to would be the thumb stick. Now the thumb sticks, we've got antler, we've got plain wood, and we've got a buffalo horn. These you cut uh, to length. These are left long because I never know who's going to want them. Some people like to use them as a rifle rest and put their rifle into there. So I like to leave them long and then I can cut them off to the customer's requirements. But as a general rule of thumb, you would have it so your arm is at right angles to your body and your thumb piece would be down about here. Again, you will put your thumb in the top and you push yourself along with the thumb. You can obviously lean on it when you get to where you want to go. If you want to rest, you, you can lean on it. Some people put them under their arms and lean, sort of lay on them. It's uh, all again a choice. That's all you can just go along cutting out your hedgerow. So that's your sort of first stage of a thumbstick. Then, obviously, then you can start to turn them a bit different. You can put a piece of antler on the top. You could carve your antler and do different things with that. Or you make a little horn one, buffalo horn or ram's horn. So that's sort of talk you through your, your thumbsticks. So then we go on to, um, we'll go on to the short sticks next. So what we call a short stick is anything that is short. Again, buffalo horn, antler and buffalo horn, so that makes a nice, nice comfortable little handle. Um, what we've got here is a simple hazel knob stick, it would grow like that. You cut off when I seasoned off, you got a nice little knob to hold on to. Um, another antler one where you're putting the tie in like that you are actually mounting a tie-in into the stick so normally put a, a antler collar around that just to give it a bit more strength and a smart up I think that looks quite nice and they're, they're really comfortable like a really comfortable stick so that's all it is a piece of antler doesn't have to be the collar in that bit uh, so you would cut it off about there and then dowel into that put a collar around the top, that just gives it a little bit more strength. So that would be your antler type. Um, what else we've got here? Another buffalo one, the natural sort of, well a tea handle we call them. Then we go on a cow horn. Now they're quite simple to do, they look really nice, they look like posh when they're done. All it is a piece of cow horn, any sort of cow horn, it doesn't have to be thick. So you measure the top of your stick, measure the your cow horn here, where it comes so it's, level, it's in the same size as your stick, cut that away and then cut yourself a, a section. So you use a piece like that and then the top you can just cap out with another bit of horn, piece of wood or whatever, polish it all up and you'll find that really does come up nice. It makes a lovely simple stick but looks really posh and looks as if you put a lot of work into it. So 
they're well worth getting. I say you can normally find these around, even car boots you'll find them where they've been as a Swiss horn and that type of thing. So they're about. Just have a look for them. I say they do make a lovely stick. The other one we go to, which is the most common one that people do or that you hear of, is the blackthorn, the shillelagh, and that's used as a fighting stick plus your walking stick, uh, and it's quite a heavy, quite a heavy wood. Comes up with a lovely colour. So that's how it would start off. This piece. This blackthorn, that's an exceptional one, but it's grown out of the ground. It, they, they put out runners, that comes off the bottom, and that's a bit where we've dug down and we've got the root. So the root then would become the knob. So that's going to make a, 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 a nice um, knob stick sometime, or shillelagh, whatever you want to call that type of thing. So then we next lot we come on to is the horn handled ones. Now there's always a lot of confusion as to what is a crook and what is a marking stick. Right, so the easiest way of explaining it is not these two, they're your market sticks. You've got your same handle as you would a crook and that's what we call a nose out. This one is a nose in, but they're both called a market stick, which you would walk with that way. You hold it backwards. And the same with the crook one, you hold it backwards. And that's how you walk with these. Um, and I say, there's buffalo horn and your ram's horn. So they're your market sticks. That's a curl. Again, a market stick. And another one there, market stick. And the reason they're called market sticks is they're the sort of stick that the, the old farmer would take to market. And the idea is he'd lean on them while he's having a chat with all the old shepherds when they brought their sheep in. So they're the market sticks. They're not big enough to catch a sheep by the neck. So that is the vital thing as to why they're called the market stick. The other one we go to is the fancy market stick. This is the one that the shepherds would carve in their huts and that type of thing. And these are all called fancy, but they're not really a practical thing to walk with. Um, too much carving on, but that is still your market stick because you wouldn't want to catch a sheep with it anyway, although it is big enough. Uh, so then we go on to the crooks, the working crooks. This one isn't quite finished, that's why it's still got the tape around it. That's uh, the only one I've got. So that is your working's crook. That is size to catch a sheep by the neck. This one is to catch the sheep by the leg, by the back leg. If you notice, I put an angle joint on there. Some of my sticks I put angles on, some I do the straight. All depends how I'm feeling. But the shape of this one, or the size of this one, is the old English half penny is to go in here, and the old English one penny piece was to fit there. That was what was said to be the ideal size for catching the sheep by the leg. So again, both made out of ram's horn, and they're both actual work and crooks. So they are for catching your sheep. Now your sheep horn is like that. Hollow to a certain extent, but that we mould, we heat that up and mould it into a shape, and we come up with our, uh, our crooks. The other horn I meant to show you was like that one for the buffalo horn, that is the buffalo horn, it's a very, very solid horn. And the hollow part has been chopped off and us still back in India. But these are at the old water buffalo. And again, with a bit of heat, heat and a bit of shaping, you can turn that round and you can come up with that sort of stick. 
uh, these knob sticks, the uh, thumb stick, any of them sort of sticks you can get out of one piece of buffalo. So I think I've more or less explained everything to you about our different um, sticks and actually what they're called. So I hope it helps you a bit with your stick making and uh, possibly has answered a few of your questions because I do get a few questions as to what is what or what we call different things. So hopefully that's explained a bit for you. Um, so good luck with your stick making and we'll see you.